Well, hello there and welcome to my Wednesday. It's a DoorDash day, so let's get to it. <laughs> Barely made it, because when you schedule your dash, you have 30 minutes after your scheduled time to start. After 30 minutes, you lose your dash. It doesn't matter if you schedule it or not. I went to QT to grab uh, an iced tea and a couple of snacks, get something in my belly. I learned my lesson last week. Don't go into da door dashing hungry. So got a couple, couple snacks, I'm good to go. Got my iced tea. Get ready to hit the start button and I've got like, I lost like my data connection. It's just like spinning. And I'm like watching the clock. I'm like, I got one minute. I'm like, hurry up. So I start driving because I'm like, maybe I'll drive down the road a little bit and get, and get my connection back. It says I got 5G with like three bars, but like there's just no data, right? I start sweating. I'm like, oh God, I'm gonna miss my dash. Thankfully, I, as, I, as I come out of the intersection, I get the little notification, something about my my um, connection. It's it, literally the iPhone tells me your connection's you know back or whatever. And I'm like, restart the Dasher app and it's like spinning again. I'm like, oh God, and then I got it. So I was like, Whew. so I just got it. And then right away, I got my first, I'm going, we're going to Chick-fil-A. We're gonna pick up some Chick-fil-A. We're gonna go west, which I'm cool with going west. I didn't wanna go east. This is about as east as I, I want to go, unless it's a really good order, and then I'll go east, and then just move my way back west. But I have like a three mile span along the freeway that I like to stay close to, and, and stay close to the freeway, because it just makes life so much easier to get on the freeway, freeway if I have to you know, go down multiple miles or whatnot, and uh, and the map calculates for that. So uh, yeah, that's 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 the plan. That's my little, my little area that I stay in. And, I stay pretty busy. I do very well down in this little area, and every once in a while, it'll it'll bring me out of the area, and then I have to come back a little bit, like we were doing that last week. But man, the orders were good, so I didn't mind. This Chick Fil A is nuts, man. They actually have the parking lot blocked off. The area that you normally drive to get into the parking lot is blocked off for Chick Fil A drive-through only. It's crazy. So we have to park over here and then walk around. I feel like it's Chick-fil-A, In-N-Out Burger, and then maybe like, I feel like Cane's, Raising Cane's is starting to get to that point where it's like it's the drive through starts getting backed up, but definitely Chick-fil-A and In-N-Out Burger have the longest drive through lines than anyone else. Other than that, Chipotle would be the next thing where I say like the line's like out the door when it comes to like lunch and dinner rushes. Chipotle's the next, the next one, just the demand is just there, man. The food, the, they just got the food just right. And I just feel like it's it's those it's those companies that just do like one thing and one thing very very well, right? In and Out Burger, just burger and fries and shakes. That's it. That's all they do. Chick Fil A, chicken sandwiches, chicken nuggets, but it's chicken, right? They do chicken really well. Chipotle, man, they they have granted they've expanded their menu a little bit, but they still it's just this this style of Mexican food where it's just like this is what we do: Bur uh, uh, burritos, bowls, tacos, salads. But it's just it's all the same ingredients. They they, they the, the companies that can do that they win they win so let's go pick up chick-fil-a so this is before the dinner rush after the lunch rush it's actually not that bad there's only uh like seven cars in the drive through so that's the first delivered to a high school met the met the kid out uh by the locker room the football football player or athlete something i wanted to point out Last week, we lost 3% on our acceptance rate. That is uh, the, the stat that they keep track of, of how many offers they they give you and that you accept. And, you're, and you, where our goal is to stay above 70%. So we were at 76, we started the day off at 73. I just declined a Pizza Hut that was six miles for $6. That's a and um, And I just went down to 72%. So we started at 73, we're already at 72. We're, our goal is to stay at 70. If I have to start accepting crap orders, I I, I will, but I, that's that's where we're at. So we're gonna keep track. I'll, I'll try to give you an update at the end of the dash to see where we end. Oh shit, we're back at Aldi. For those who don't remember, this is the store where you have to pay a quarter to get a grocery cart and you have to pack your own, bag your own groceries with bags you have to buy from them. I guess it's a British thing. All right, so I put the quarter in here. It unlocks it. Ah, I see, and the quarter's right there. So then I, I guess when I plug it back in, it pops the quarter out. All right, we're learning new. This is like the second time I've been in the store, I still am learning where everything's at. And last but not least, buzzard. Cookies and cream. 
Ta-da! Okay, that was a lot smoother than the first time. This goes in here. And out comes our quarter. Pick myself up a Wagyu beef stick. Wagyu beef steak strip, ground and formed meat strip. Six grams of protein, three grams of total carbs. Ingredients, beef, honey, sea salt, black pepper, garlic powder. I like the sound of that. Oh, fail. Come on, come on. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I'm supposed to just peel apart. Oh no! Let's try the other side. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, it's a steak strip. It's good, but I like flavored. I like jalapeno, spicy, chili, pepper. That's what I crave when I when I eat beef jerky. I always get like the you know the, whatever spicy one they have, pepper, black pepper, or like jalapeno. Another first, I just delivered to a trailer park. And this is actually really nice. I didn't even know this. I mean, maybe I knew this was here. I don't know, this, I've never been inside here before. So they got, we got mobile homes, right? Like permanent, they're here most likely forever, yada, yada, yada. And then you got like spots for trailers like that, like our old trailer, like that. And that's what I just delivered to. I just delivered to someone's trailer, just dropped it off at the front door. Uh, yeah, so another first. Back at Safeway, shopping for somebody. The hardest part is the items that they don't tell you. I mean, okay, I guess it's, I'm gonna spoil a little bit here. They tell you what, what aisle the items are on and it's a numerical order. So it's really easy to go aisle four and then you have to find the item on the aisle four, you know it's on aisle four. Then there's a category called pantry. And you're like, okay, well it's a salad dressing. So I'm on the salad dressing aisle. I'm looking at salad dressings, but this salad dressing's not here. And you're like, why does it not say that it's on aisle five? It says pantry. So maybe it's refrigerated. But it'd be nice if it said that, you know, like, refrigerated section or something i don't know but yeah i'm looking for a salad dressing and i don't see that brand at all not even a spot for it so it's got to be in another area it's, it's it's some kind of ranch you know all the crappy ranch is, is on the is on the shelf it's not refrigerated but it's not to be good ranch that's refrigerated and here we go you know it's better when it's refrigerated but do they have Panera Bread Ranch. It doesn't look like it. Wah, wah, wah. All right, so not bad. We substituted one item, we refunded another one. I'm heading to checkout. In and out in, I think it said 18 minutes. It gave me 22 minutes to shop, so head to schedule. Look at that sunset. On to Target now. I just thought of an idea. I thought of something I want to talk to you guys about at the end, end, of, our, end of tonight's dash. Here's a weird one. It requested a 11 point two five uh, ounce bag and all they had were 10.75 ounce bags so it's a half an ounce missing and it wouldn't accept it wouldn't let me take it so i had to say it wasn't available even though technically it was all right i'm back home i ended early uh because i just ended i, I lose energy pretty quick towards the end of the night i'm up at four in the morning so you know I'm trying to get on the go 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 i always start my door dashing all like hyped and ready to go and then you know about three to four hours in is when i start to kind of taper off a little bit um, but I, I had a dash that took me practically in, you know, right across the freeway from my home. And I was like, I'm going to go home. <laughs> so I um, made $81 in just uh, three hours, which is about $27 an hour, I think. Uh, and I, I stayed at 72% acceptance rate. So I only went down 1% uh, today. So not too bad. Not too bad. Um, had some fun, had some good, good orders, uh, good tips. And um, otherwise, it was just a it was a it was a good night. It's safe to say that if I didn't have a full time job um, and you know working nine ten hours in that job, that I could easily do DoorDash for ten hours a day, like no big deal. Even take a break somewhere in the middle, you know, take it to have a formal lunch and then you know continue on. But uh, yeah, it's just it's just a long day when I'm up at four in the morning and just start to. Ooh. Plus, I'm thinking I know you know Tiffany's home, the kids are home. You know, I have a finite amount of time with them in the evenings because I go to bed so early. So, um, 
I was okay with going home. So the epiphany I had today uh, when I was door dashing is um, I don't really need to door dash. It's, it's, it's you know, one day a week for some extra cash and it's just literally my spending money. That's, that's really what it is. But now that I'm back to vlogging, you, you a bunch of, a bunch of you have said how much you love watching the DoorDash videos. It's, it's, it's interesting. It's uh, entertaining. Um, and you just like going along with me when I'm doing something, cause I'm doing something out of the ordinary, maybe something that you're not used to, to, to seeing someone do. And so I had this thought today that I'm, I'm doing this for content at this point. Like, I literally took a Target offer that wasn't that great, not horrible, but not that great, that I probably would have passed on, except that I knew that, oh, if I'm going to Target, I can vlog, right? Because I'm walking around a store, I'm shopping. There might be a moment that I'm like, oh, check this out. I've never seen this before, like that kind of thing. I'm kind of like changing my thoughts, my mentality that now I DoorDash once a week because I, I can make a, a great vlog, you know? Great, in air quotes. I don't know, just something that, I, something that just came to me today that's like, I, I saw that Target order, and I literally had that moment of like, I'm gonna pass and I go, ooh, wait, I can vlog in Target though, except. Just thought I'd share that with you that that, pros that, that crossed my mind and that, you know, you guys have, have a little bit of influence on me when it comes to certain decision making. All right, I'm gonna hit the couch, cuddle with Tiffany before she falls asleep. Uh, tomorrow's Thursday, work from home day. Got to do some sales. I uh, got a couple of phone calls to make and a couple of things to follow up on. It should be a busy day, but thankfully I'm, I'm working from home so I can kind of focus on, on that sort of thing. Um, meet with my brothers for the gym. And then um, Tiffany starts packing her bags because she's going on a trip this weekend. So um, I'm gonna try and squeeze in a stream, but it all depends on what time she comes home. Friday though, got a big event coming up. Uh, meet up with a friend of mine, We're going to an event I've never been to before. I'm really excited. Don't know anything about it, but it's going to be awesome. And I'm going to vlog the whole thing and bring you guys along. So stay tuned for that. And then a lot more happening this weekend because Tiffany's going to be out of town. So it's going to be just me and you. Me and you. The kids are working all weekend. It's going to be just me and you. So stay tuned for that. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow.